Welcome to Foxtech again today. This time I'll be showing you how to turn off Scribble on your iPad. Scribble is a great feature that lets you use your Apple Pencil to enter text by converting your handwriting into type text directly on your iPad. However, if you find that you don't need this feature or prefer not to use it, I'll guide you through the steps to disable and turn it off. Let's get started right now. First, let's quickly go over what Scribble is. On supported models, Scribble allows you to write with your Apple Pencil in any text field, and it automatically converts your handwriting into typed text. This feature can be incredibly useful for quickly replying to messages, jotting down reminders, and more, without having to use the on-screen keyboard. Scribble works seamlessly, even if your handwriting extends beyond the edges of the text field. However, if you find that you don't like using Scribble or prefer to use the traditional on-screen keyboard, you can easily turn off this feature. Disabling Scribble is a straightforward process that only takes a few steps. To stop converting your handwriting to text, follow these steps. First, open the Settings app on your iPad. This is where you'll find all the configuration options for your device. In the Settings menu, scroll down and tap on Apple Pencil. Here, you will see various settings related to your Apple Pencil. Within the Apple Pencil settings, look for the option labeled Scribble. You'll see a toggle switch next to it. To disable Scribble, simply turn off this toggle switch. Once you've done this, Scribble will no longer convert your handwriting to text, and that's all there is to it. Turning off Scribble is just as simple as using it. Whether you're looking for a more traditional typing experience or simply don't find Scribble useful, disabling it can help streamline your interactions with your iPad. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Foxtech for more tech tips and tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you guys later.